Okay, so I hope I didn't lose the other recordings because uh, it's just turning itself off. So I'm going to, I've added the Moki sweet rice. It was only two teaspoons of that, okay? And it's been nine minutes already that I've been stirring it and it's already thickening. Let me just show you. Okay, it's already thickening. Okay. So this is how we're making the, the paste. And that's two tablespoons of sugar, just as the same measurement as the two tablespoons of sweet flour rice. And then the water was just two cups, right? Two, two, and two. So it's easy to remember, okay? So now I'm going to turn this off. And let me just pause this for a minute. Okay, so now <clears throat> we have the bucket that's been sitting with kimchi supposedly for eight hours, but since it's got salt water and it's supposed to be a certain texture, I actually let it go for 48 hours. So I may have messed it up, but here's a kimchi in case you're too lazy to make the paste yourself. Okay, but I decided I opted out of that. Okay, so now <clears throat> this is what the kimchi looks like. And the texture is supposed to be... That it should not be too crispy, that it will break. Now, this is the hard part, but you see this over here? You see this kimchi? I mean, this, you know, cabbage, rather. This is Chinese cabbage. And you see how I'm rolling it up? This is the perfect texture. It has been uh, pretty much fermenting already for 48 hours. And that's okay. It's fermenting in salt. Okay? So let's uh, pause this for a minute. And so now this is the moment of truth. This is the um, rice water that I have been simmering. And I put, as I said, two tablespoons each for both flour and brown sugar. And two cups of the flour that I showed you earlier. Let me show it to you just in case I will see the footage. Just give me a second here. So I took two cups <clears throat> two, two, two tablespoons of this into two cups of water. And I used two tablespoons as well of brown sugar. Okay. Now, I may have lost the footage, so that's why I'm kind of repeating. I made kimchi. I, I, I mixed in this bowl here. And I processed the food processor. I chopped up lots of garlic. Uh... Uh... Red hot pepper. Now, it came out the color of um, of the radish because I bought radish and the peel is purple. So that overpowered the red color that kimchi paste usually, usually has. But do not underestimate the spiciness of this because when I was cutting only one and a half of the pepper, I was already coughing. Okay? Uh, so I put chives in it as well. And I put lots of garlic. I put radish. I did not use the Korean radish. I was not able to do it. That's why it's this color. And do not underestimate the little red that you see. It's only because the radish was purple and it overpowered the color of the spiciness. Okay? So. Huh. I was looking to see if I could find a piece of um, the red hot pepper. It's a long one. All right? A long one like this. So I did one and a half. So now I got to let this cool off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this recording because every time I pause it for too long, it's turning off. So we'll be right back. 